Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive into your Drobo and how to make sure that it's showing up in the Drobo dashboard and it's working correctly. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. So I have a Western Digital black hard drive right here. It's a six terabyte that I'm going to install in this Drobo Pro right here. And so the way that I would do that is I'm going to take the cover off just like that. And as you can see, I already have two hard drives in there. Well, I'm going to add this six terabyte Western Digital black hard drive to the third bay right here. And actually, I can support up to eight hard drives in this Drobo Pro. But at the moment, I'm just going to add this six terabyte because I'm slowly starting to run out of space. And so I'm going to add that. That'll give me plenty of space for a long time. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like on the computer right now. And then I'm going to show you how to install the drive. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. So hold on. I'm going to show you what the computer looks like at the moment. Okay, so here is what the Drobo dashboard looks like at the moment. So I actually have two Drobo Pros, and they work fantastic. I, I'm very happy with them. The Drobo Pro data is the one I'm actually going to be adding the drive to. So if I click one time on the Drobo Pro data, and then I go over here and I click on status, You'll notice this is the one that has two drives in it. The first one is a two terabyte and the second one is a two terabyte. Now I'm going to show you how to install that new six terabyte in the third slot and what it looks like after I've installed it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to record what's on the computer so that you can see it as I'm adding the six terabyte hard drive to it. Great. Now that you know what the Drobo Pro looks like and the two drives that are currently in there. I'm going to go ahead and take the six terabyte and I'm going to install it. So the SATA and the power connector are going to go towards the back and I'm going to go ahead and pull down on this little lever and I'm going to stick the hard drive in there. And then you can let go of the lever and continue to push the hard drive in. Now, in just a moment, this will go green because it'll detect that a new drive was added. And as you'll be able to see on the Drobo dashboard, it'll recognize that six terabyte hard drive. So let's go back over to the computer and you can see it as it shows up on the Drobo dashboard. Awesome, see, now it's actually detected the drive. It showed up right here in the top right corner. So give it just a moment and it's going to tell you how big that drive is. There it goes, six terabytes. And now instantly my amount of free space will increase because it'll be able to use that six terabyte as well. And so now I have three terabytes of free space. I think before I may have only had one terabyte. So that's fantastic. Now I have a lot more space to use on my Drobo Pro. Thanks so much everybody. I hope this was helpful on how to install a hard drive in your Drobo and how to make sure it's showing up in the Drobo dashboard and it's working properly. So stay tuned for next time. And until then, please like and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.